Hello and welcome to this new video on All Smart Repair. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the camera of an iPhone 13 Pro Max. You can also use the video for an iPhone 13 or 13 or 13 mini. You will see the new camera now here. This is the original part directly from another phone. So yeah, that's the highest quality you can use for this. The problem of this phone is that the iPhone fell down and also the display is cracked. I won't show how to replace the display in this video because I already made a video for that. But I will show you how to replace the camera. And as you can see, when I type here, it's only available in 2x and 1x and not even 2x always. So yeah, it's not working. One of the modules is broken. So for replacing the camera, we need to disassemble the phone. First step, we need to take out the display. For taking out the display, we first need to take our Torx screwdriver and remove the two Torx screws in the bottom of the iPhone. For the repair, I'm using my 30-in-1 repair kit. You can buy it through the link in the description. And yeah, through that, you will support my work and I would be very happy about it. All screws I'm unscrewing I'll put on a uh, magnet map so we will later know which screw came from where. The next step for removing the display is to heat up the device. I will use a heat plate for this. You can also use a hair dryer or a hot air station. But first I will turn off the phone if possible and put it on the heat plate. When the device is hot enough, we can now take our suction cup and you can also do this even if your display is not broken as I do. Uh, we will put the suction cup in this case on this side because the glass is cracked here. Normally I'm doing it on the other side, but yeah, it's the same way. Then we take our scalp, push it until we are inside the frame and now we take isopropanol. and put it all over the place we are inside with the scalp. Now we push and pry with the suction cap until the display is coming up. When we are inside the display between the frame and the display glass, we then take our chip this is a thin chip that is also included in the set. We put it between the display and the frame and we now carefully will remove the display by pulling the chip all around the phone. I will also try to not damage the OLED because we want to try to refurbish the glass of this display and therefore we will be very careful as you should do even if your display is broken. We take some isopropanol always and this will loosen the glue. This will make the opening of the phone very easy and you don't have to take too much force for that to open it. To show you and for me, I wanted to see if the display is still working and yeah, as you can see, it's just perfectly fine. I will shut down the phone now, turn it off. So now we can open the phone and we see we need our three pot screwdriver head. This is very easy to change with the six and one screwdrivers here and we will now remove the three screws of the display connection, put the screws on the magnet map, then I take the plastic tweezer that is all also included in the 13-1 set, unplug the battery for the first step and then the display. 
Then we need to unscrew the two Torx screws in the upper side here. Here you need to check that you will put back the screws where they was before. So yeah, put it on the magnet map as it was in the phone. So now we have left uh, two normal screw heads and yeah, I need to change this part again. But before I will do this, I will unscrew all of the three pot screws that are left for the camera bezel that is protecting the camera and holding it in its place. There we also have a normal screw and so I will change this to the normal screw head back. Unscrew the one for the camera and then the two screws for the face ID and ear nozzle. I will also replace the display in this video so don't wonder when the display will be fixed afterwards. But I won't show it because yeah, I also already did a video for that and if you want to see the video, I'll link it in the description. Now I'll unplug the face ID module of the upper side with the yeah, sensors here. And then we can unplug the camera flex cables from the main board. After that, I will always take a scalp push it up a little bit we can already take the new camera out because we don't want any dust inside here and we will put the new camera inside already for the 13 Pro Max and yeah I think all of the models um, we have a flex cable here that needs to be inside of this metal frame here so when we done this and it's yeah, inside of this metal frame. We can already replug the camera to the main board. And then we already have successfully changed the original camera with a new one. Uh, now we can check if there's any dust or dirt inside. For me there's nothing to see so perfectly fine. And yeah, I will now replace the sheet, the plate of the main camera that it's holding it in place. So first step I'm taking the normal screw in the upper side because I have this bit already on the screwdriver. Now I will change it to the three pot screw head again. So for the next step we can already take the display. Like I said I already have replaced it with a new original one and already have installed the face ID here as well. As you can see, I applied a little bit of T7000 here to the screws, so the screws will not loosen later. It's enough when you put a little, little, little touch of it on the side of the screw, so there will no problem of unscrewing it later if needed. And for the other bore holes, I will do this already before I install the screws So from vibration and falling down of the phone, the screws will not unscrew. This is important. So the screws will not lay loose inside of the phone later. So now we uh, take the phone again and we can plug back everything. First step, I will plug back the face ID module and then the display. After that, the battery. And now we can already take the screws and unscrew everything. You can take a bottle of water or something to hold the display. But yeah, it's not needed. So 
You can do it, but I don't need to do it. I'm doing this so often. Now for sure we take the three Torx screws first step because it's already installed into the screwdriver. Now we take the sheet plate for the face ID module and unscrew, no, screw inside the two tripod screws and after that the two normal head screws. Now we need to change the bit. When we have installed all of the screws, we can go to the next step and put back everything. Now you maybe ask me, oh, you didn't change the seal for the display. But as you can see, the seal is just perfectly fine like original because I used our isopropanol and was very soft by pulling off the display. And so we can use the original seal and just heat it up and will will be perfectly fine and watertight as well. So the last step will be closing the phone. Push it from the back to the front. and softly press down the display until it makes click. Now we can already start the device to check if everything worked perfectly and the camera is working just fine. Also, yeah, the new display I have installed. And we also need to put back the two Torx screws. I yeah have a second six and one here where the Torx screw head is already installed. We'll screw those two back. And now I will remove the protection layer. As you can see, the display is just looking perfectly as original. And I will need to check for the code now. And we'll show you that the camera is working perfectly again. You can see we have 0.5, 1x and 3x. So yeah, the camera is just perfectly fine working again. And also the focus is working as well. Yeah, so the last thing I will do uh, before I'm finished with this device, I will put back the device on the heat plate to heat up the whole display and reconnect the seal with the display perfectly. Yeah, we'll do this out of the camera. So yeah, I hope you like the video and can use the video for your own repair of your iPhone 30, 13 Pro or 13 Pro Max, no problem. You can also use the video for 12 as well. It's nearly the same procedure. Yeah, I hope you have a nice day. Don't forget to leave a like and an abo. Comment if you have question. Do something for the algorithm. Please comment and have a nice day. See you. Ciao.